we are finally pretty much ready to leave this first area of Pharos, and we will be coming back, don't you worry. Uh, initially inside of the garage, there's going to be a couple of geth uh, rocket drones or something like that, so they're really easy. They died so fast I didn't even get a look at what they were. And then here's our trusty Mako, so we're going to take it, drive outside of the garage door, and do some familiar driving. Of course, a short clip is going to greet us, dropping off a couple of these geth uh, colossus or something like that. And if you hit them with the bomb rocket, whatever it is, on the Mako, it's probably going to, um, what's the word, splash damage some other enemies that are nearby. And the rocket will kill pretty much anything but these geth in one hit, so be sure to use that. And you also just kind of want to make sure that you're aiming the rocket um, steadily trying to figure out how to word that like if you yeah, your your mouse cursor your aimer is going to move faster than that turret on top of the mako so you can pretty easily aim at something and fire and then miss it entirely so you kind of got to aim and give your mako a second to uh, actually position itself where it needs to be shooting at so if you ever find that happening to yourself just kind of take a second when you're aiming and when you're zoomed in, it happens. It feels like it happens pretty fast, but you'll you'll know when it does happen. Where you might be parked in a bad spot, or uh, maybe you just turned left and right way too fast when you fired, and you just miss entirely. And it is kind of annoying when you're taking unnecessary damage, but that's just kind of how it is. There's a couple of bunkers that we'll also be able to get out of the Mako and walk inside of, and I think I might go back and go inside of this bunker here. So I'm mostly doing this just for the experience, even though there's really only one enemy to worry about. But we can come over here and try to control the wonky uh, controlling ability of this stupid vehicle, and we'll see a little entrance. Looks like I decide not to do it though. Okay. No big deal. I think I end up doing that later because there are extra items we can get. And then once we get inside of this area, to our left is going to be a second settlement. And we're going to get out of the Mako and go talk to these guys. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I suggest you put that weapon down unless you're ready to use it. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Just tell me where I can find them. <laughs> you see? They're not here to save us. We should just wait for company support before we... Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. What 
come eventually. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where is your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you... I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Everybody wants something. Hurry up about it. Fair enough. I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? I'm not interested in this. All right. Just remember, there's money to be made if you want it. Any luck finding my workstation? Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. How are we supposed to find in it? We've been trapped for days. I hope you can get us out of this mess. We ran when the attack came. Commander, what can I do for you? Stay bunkered down until I well, find Well, now we have a little better idea of what's going on here. Although not much, we just know that Exogeny is most likely up to no good, as always. Always the giant corporation's fault, isn't it? And we're going to head on back out and get into the Mako and then start going up this long pathway. I remember the first time I played through Pharos, I did not take the Mako up here because I didn't think that you were supposed to. And I walked all the way to the other side and did everything completely on foot. And it's possible, but it's completely unnecessary. And then I had to walk all the way back, because we do always come back in Mass Effect 1. We do a lot of backtracking. It's how these older games really extended the playtime of their games. And having to walk this whole way, and uh, like one way, walk all the way to the, the location we're going, and then having to walk all the way back, was not a good idea, and there was really no way for me to get around it because I didn't have any saves that were earlier, even though it probably would have been faster, but, you know, I guess we'll just kind of see the torture that I put myself through in a second here. So there's going to just be another outdoor section, and that tower on the other end of our screen is going to be our final location, I think. Uh, we may not be going specifically into that tower, but we'll be going into a door on the other end of the bridge, wherever it is we're going. And there's also going to be some enemies inside of the bunker here, so when I'm trying to kind of fight with the dang controls of this stupid Mako, I think I get out here and we go on down there. And I'm not actually sure what I was trying to do with that thing, I think I just didn't want to walk very far to it. But either way, we can come on down, there's going to be a Geth Trooper, and I think that was about it. <laughs> I didn't really look around to see if there was anything else. There's probably items down there, and I'm pretty sure I go into another bunker, and there are in fact Wait. items in that one too. Shotgun Might be this next one, I guess we'll find out. I kind of forgot. Recorded this game a while ago, so, um, yeah. A great professional video, am I right? <laughs> no? Okay. Anyway, uh, this is... 
Yep, another bunker inside of... Okay, and there's going to be another Geth Trooper, and then a lower area on the left side here. And it looks like my teammates are doing okay surviving, but they all ran right past that bunker, so I don't really know what they were so attached to. I guess that Trooper, but then there's this one here. And we can easily just skip these guys and this uh, little bunker areas. There's really no reason to come down here. These items probably aren't very good, but we get extra experience, we get extra money, and the extra money does actually help out in Mass Effect 2. You get a bonus. Uh, if you have a lot of credits in 1, you get a bonus of credits in 2, although not really that many, and it stops after a certain amount of credits, so I don't even know how useful that really is. <laughs> uh, they were trying to convince us that everything we were doing in 1 was going to play a part in 2, and it does. And I haven't really seen any games since then that have tried to do that. I know like the Telltale games, the Walking Dead games, before Telltale uh, went, they destroyed themselves. Um, those ones would also use your saves, but pretty much other than like Mass Effect and Dragon Age and... Uh, well, yeah, Telltale, none of them care about your saves in the previous games. None of the other games, not even Mass Effect Andromeda. Even though the some developer, I think one of the Bioware developers, at one point did tell us to save our save files for Andromeda because we might need them. And we didn't end up ever using them in Andromeda. They didn't do anything. <laughs> but I think as far as most people are hopefully concerned, Andromeda never actually happened. That game is terrible, my goodness. Okay, uh, we're almost done with the outside. We can drive over here and we'll be able to go beneath the building. And then we can kill as many of these Geth as we can reach before we walk in there. And there's no reason not to kill them with the Mako. I mean, you're going to kill them in one shot. It's just going to save you a lot of trouble, especially with the Stalkers. Just try to wait for them to jump up on the ceiling. And once that's all done, we can get out and walk over here. There's going to be a few more that we can't quite see. Maybe if I'd been more patient, we could have seen them, but they're only Geth Troopers. And that one's a Rocket Trooper. Not really a big concern either. Not really sure how I was hitting them, him there, or if that was all my teammates. Uh, but once that's done, we'll be able to wait a second for our teammates to let me know that I'm finished. Maybe try to quick save. And there's going to be a little drop for us. First of all, we're going to go into this doorway, and I think there are enemies in here. So we're going to open up the door, and then there's going to be some enemies here, right? Maybe, maybe not. And... Let's see, it uh, doesn't look like there are, okay, dead geth and a fuel containment cell, some items, oh that one is alive, okay that's an armature, and it is in fact alive, alright, so do I kill this thing, I think I do, and I think we switch to the shotgun, yep, and as always if you're going to be fighting one of these things on foot you got to make sure that blue ball does not hit you, because if it does you are instantly dead. But it's pretty easy to go left, right, left, right on out of the wall there and just blast him in the face a couple of times even though there's not really headshot damage in this game. And that will kill him for good. Okay, that guy's dead. We get a lot of experience and money for that. And then we're going to head on back outside and there's going to be a drop that is pretty much a point of no return. Uh, not so much for the game permanently, but just for this little area, and once you drop down here you can no longer go back unless you reload a save, but it's not too big of a deal, it's not going to take us too long to get through here, but it is kind of a maze, it is kind of a confusing place, and replaying these areas I really gotta wonder how the heck did I play this game as much as I did when it came out, because <laughs> games have gotten a lot better since 2007 and I still love Mass Effect 1 but man there's so many things that they would never do in a modern game and once we get into that area there's going to be some dialogue and that'll be the end of this video What are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'll fight my way through the Geth soon enough. 
It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. A Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. I need more information. I need to know why the Geth are after this Thorian. I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field.